town of Sini and the Fox River Hotel. And we gotta go find the county park. Just left Sini, Highway 28, and now we're heading into the county park. There's the Sini Township Park, and this is where we're meeting our ride. This is the campground. This is Mara, a friend of Paul's, and she drove us from Sini to Pictured Rocks. And to stay, we left the car in Sini, so she's spotting us a ride. So we're gonna start the hike at 12 Mile Beach in Pictured Rocks. We are at the 12 Mile Beach parking lot, just got dropped off, and we are gonna head west on the North Country Trail to the Fox River Trail. We are on the road to the campground right by the parking lot. Here's 12 Mile Beach Campground. Pretty quiet this time of year. Not even a quarter of it's occupied. There's Gitchy Gumi down there. And this is a pretty long campground. 2.6 miles to 7 mile campground. I think we're gonna hit the Fox River Trail before that point. Past this cabin on the North Country Trail on the way to Fox River Pathway. Not sure if they're gonna rent it out because they got a deck built by it to go to the beach. Here we're getting a good view of the lake. What do you think, Paul? Are you excited about this Fox River hike? I absolutely am. Mesquite, yeah, I'm excited, but the mosquitoes when we staged that car at the Fox River and Sini, mosquitoes were horrific. I think this is a lady slipper. Star flowers are out. And I think a bunch berry, maybe. Mosquitoes are bothering us a little bit, but not too bad yet. Here's winter green. Tastes like winter green. Couldn't ask for a better day than today, temperature wise and everything. There's a stand of club moss. We arrived at the Fox River Pathway off the North Country Trail. And it is three miles to Kingston Lake, that away. We made it to the Fox River Pathway and North Country Trail intersection along Lake Superior, Pictured Rocks. We're gonna go see Lake Superior before we turn off onto the Fox River Pathway. Can't be all the way out here and not walk onto the beach. Not a footprint in the sand. There's 2.4 miles from 12 Mile Beach to the intersection of the Fox River Pathway. We are heading out into the unknown. I've never been on this trail before. And we got a paper birch. Dead fall right off the bat on the trail. It's a lady slipper. It's a fox for the trail. We got on our head nets. Mosquitoes are ferocious. There's just clouds of them out here. The trail is marked with blue blazes. A few ponds along the trail. Mosquito breeding grounds. And this trail has mostly been a lot of white pine and red pine. It's a beaver lodge down here. On this pond, it's a beaver lodge, and it has a pathway going through here. There's been a few minor ups and downs on this trail, but so far pretty flat. I'm up to the Kingston Lake Campground and Kettle Hole Lake to the left. We're going to Kingston Lake Campground. Very sandy soil in this area. A lot of lichens growing. We got another sign coming up here at 315 Kingston Lake Campground and Fox River Pathway stops 22 and 23. I'm going to go check out stops 22 and 23 just a little ways and see if I can find out what that is. I don't see anything. I'm not sure what that's all about. So I'm going to go back on the trail towards Sini. Crossing a two track looks pretty well used. 350. A lot of this area is really wide open with scattered pines and be easy to find a good tent site 
all over here. Crossing a pretty major, looks like logging road. Some timber harvesting going around this area. Pretty stand of pines. And there's Kingston Lake area. I see a lake. Arriving to some lakes. And it looks like it's pretty flooded. These trees are all underwater. This is actually flooded over the trail, so we gotta find a way around it. Take a detour, get back on track. It is a good thing this trail is marked well with blue blazes because it's hard to follow the trail in some spots. This is a real pretty area. Passing a lot of scattered lakes. Splitting the trail, seeing you straight ahead. And Kingston Lake can't run that way. We gotta check it out, don't we? We're gonna go check out Kingston Lake Campground before heading south on the Fox River Trail. Here's the campground, only a minute from the trail. And here's the first campsite we came to, right on what I think is Kingston Lake. Take a load off, Paul. There's not as many mosquitoes here. Campsite scattered all along the lake. And I don't know if they have a water pump here or not. There's an outhouse and boat launch and parking area. It's Kingston Lake. Really pretty. So we started out here at 12 Mile Beach, followed along to the cutoff here to Fox Fox River Pathway. Yep, to Kingston Lake. Came down here. Here we are at uh, Kingston Lake Campground. And we don't know where we're gonna end up tonight. But here's, here's where Fox River Pathway continues on down. And here is Highway H58. There's not a soul around. It is dead quiet out here. This is the entrance to the spur trail to the campground. Heading back on to Fox River Trail. We're leaving Kingston Lake Campground and the trail is a lot more overgrown here than the section between the campground and pictured rocks because it's not near as well used. I think there's a lot of people traveling from Kingston Lake to picture rocks on day hikes. The trail has been marked very well so far with the blue blazes. No problem following the trail. Passing the cabin, didn't expect to see any of this on the trail. The trail is definitely a lot more faint after you pass through Kingston Lake Campground, but it's still easy to follow. Very easy trail through here, pretty flat. Passing a clear cut area. There's a reminder of what the forest used to look like with the giant white pines towering over the area. Crossing the two track, leading to who knows where, into a small field of lichens. This is the steepest climb of the trail so far. Gonna make it up this mountain, Paul. Right. We arrived at this site just off the trail, somewhere along the Fox River pathway. We hiked about an hour outside of Kingston Lake. Paul is in his tent. The mosquito swarms are so bad here right now, he is taking cover. It's a swarm. If you stop moving, you get eaten alive. Just cooked up some mashed potatoes and cheese, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna eat it without getting eaten alive. I've already found a couple mosquitoes in my potatoes, some extra protein. Wasn't well, supposed to be any rain until Sunday morning. And we're having a thunderstorm right now. So anyway, we had to come in because of the mosquitoes anyway, and the ticks were coming out too. So I think we're in for the night at about 6.30. There is a lot of hungry mosquitoes out there. I spent two and a half months through hiking the Florida Trail, five and a half months hiking the Appalachian Trail, and I never had near this mosquitoes anywhere. Friday morning, rise and shine opened up the zipper to my tent and the mosquitoes just flooded in this morning and the rain stopped after about two hours thunder and lightning and there's paul morning paul morning. paul is in a cloud right now you can't see me or you can't see the cloud 
I can't see you amidst the cloud of mosquitoes. We are back on the trail in a cloud of mosquitoes. The sky is cloudy, but I don't think it's gonna rain for a while. Now there's no discernible trail going strictly by trail markers at this point. Cannot see any trail. A lot of open sandy areas with a lot of lichen growing everywhere. I'm on the trail right now. You can see a faint trail through here, but when the ferns come up, there will be no sign of it. Here's a faint trail up ahead. Strawberry are out. Passing the gravel road. Very difficult to tell where the trail goes unless you can find a blue marker. We've missed it a few times, had to backtrack in the wide open areas, but it was always easy to get back on track. Once we get into the wooded section, it's pretty much bushwhacking. There's no trail at all. You, anything, 9.05, coming up to some lakes. Not sure what that's all about. This is Fish Hook Lake, or Ewet Lake, we're pretty sure. There's Loon. Just popped up. Someone's got that old trailer out here. Looks abandoned. Trails up here. Passing by some more lakes, fish hook lakes area. Which way are we going here, Paul? Straight ahead. This just feels like a stroll through the country. No trail. Just bushwhacking from blaze to blaze. 9:30, passing another lake. This is Clyde Lake, arrived here at 9.30. Here's the breeding grounds, swamp. And the beavers been hard at work here. Lots of trees cut down by beavers. Look at this swarm of mosquitoes. If I just stop for a second. Now we're getting into the woods more. Got some deadfalls and wind our way through. Try to find the trail try to stay on the trail. I would never believe this trail, this was the trail, unless I saw the blazes. Look at what the beaver did to our trail. They completely flooded it out with all these fresh cuts. And they just completed a beaver dam. And it looks like it's our only way across. We found a way around the beaver dam, so we didn't have to cross over it. But there it is, pretty cool work of engineering. And the trail is up here. This way, Paul, up through here somewhere, I think there's a mark on this bunch of the papyrifera. Made it through. This is, oh, it's, you can't hardly stand it. There's so many mosquitoes. Passing through an old clear area here. Did you just inhale a mosquito? Paul inhaled a mosquito. Been following a two track for a little while, which is kind of nice to get out of the wet woods. Getting on top of some ridges, a lot of swampy areas down the valleys. Without these masks, we'd not survive out here, that's for sure. It feels like we've been bushwhacking for a while. You can't even hardly see the trail. Dead falls, trees growing in it. Here's a pond, breeding for more mosquitoes. Yeah, there's 
the pond. Look at that. Here comes Paul. Here's the little Fox River. Very pretty. To see you sitting there, the mosquitoes, is just... Look at that. There's the beautiful Fox River down there. Some beautiful white pines. There's a few old growth ones left. We are right here. It's the little fox. It's a real pretty trail going along the little fox river section. Passing the gravel road, the fox river this way. I think we're still gonna follow the river for a little while. There a beaver took down. A marker tree. Little fox would definitely not be navigable through here. There's lots of alder thickets covering the banks of the river. There's a beaver dam down there, and there's a beaver. See the beaver? Mm -hmm. Got quite a few deadfalls to navigate around. That looks like a good breeding stream. Right here. Found a good spot to get water on the river. Not many places accessible. Paul's filling his water bottle in the fox. Beautiful little stream. Very pleasant walking through this section of the trail on the river. Wide open, no trail, just following the markers. We just finished the section along the little fox, and now we are at this point. We're gonna head, start heading southwest to these lakes here. We're heading southwest away from the Fox River and we should be hitting some lakes in a few miles. That cool little pond full of lily pads. The mosquitoes mysteriously disappeared. I don't know what happened. We have a cold front coming in. It got really cool all of a sudden. Maybe that got rid of them. Some lady slippers. Mosquitoes are completely gone. This is so much more enjoyable, walking without a head net, being able to see the bright colors. Taking the opportunity to eat while the mosquitoes are gone. Got a cliff bar for lunch. Some gorp, some tortillas with peanut butter, and some pudding. I think that might be bear poo. Back in the woods, and the mosquitoes are back again. Not as bad as they were, but they're coming back. A lot of dead beech trees in the forest dying from beech leaf d disease and beech bark disease. 120, we are crossing a two track and this is pointing left. Head over this direction. 120, found a two track. Walk down the two track for about a minute and then heading back into the woods. Old white pines that the loggers missed. Come into a swamp. See if we can keep our feet dry through this bog. Pretty mushy in here. I'm getting soakers. Yep, my feet are soaked. My feet are drenched. Here's some Labrador tea. Reach these lakes. Very pretty. 1.30, we reached these lakes. Somebody set up a grill on the lake. Nice area. And there's an old staircase going down to the lake. Place you can enter with a canoe. This is actually the little Fox River widened out into a wide lake area. Here's the area where the little fox widens out, come into the end of it, and 
they got a road coming in here where you can launch kayaks and and they've got a bridge here to cross the river it looks like a dam and there's a little fox where it arrows down again you can actually drive a vehicle across here from concrete leaving the little fox mercy area Cedar Swamp down there. This is a really cool section of the trail hiking on this ridge above the Cedar Swamp down there. Really pretty. Lots of small ups and downs on the trail. Just like 20 feet up, 20 feet down, 20 feet up, 20 feet down. 311, passing a two track. We are in a red pine forest, very wide open. Gotta keep watching close, we gotta Sharp right turn here off the two track. Easy to miss if you're not paying attention. We've been just really taking our time today. We want to enjoy the day and mosquitoes are about gone. And get to Polly Lake, which has got to be awfully close. And then set up camp there. Been walking through this pioneer forest of beach maple for quite a while now. 20 minutes or so. And this is what a lot of the trails look like or for the last hour or so. Arrived at Polly Lake. There it is down there. This is our site at Polly Lake. What do you think, Paul? It'll do. Turn up once again. Not bad. Mine's over there in the woods. Polly Lake is right over that hill. There's Polly Lake right by our campsite. There's a little painted turtle right down there in the water. Where I set up at Hollywood. 